Just a few hours ago, there was a tremendous explosion at a fertilizer plant just north of Waco. You can see a set, you get a sense of the tremendous force that was released in that explosion, the fertilizer plant blowing up. Witnesses saw a fireball 100 feet in the air resolving itself into a towering cloud over the plains of Texas. We are hearing that more than 170 people have been injured, more than 20 of those critically told by police in the area that there are fatalities, confirmed fatalities. They don't want to give us the exact number at this point. That explosion that you just saw registered a 2.1 on the Richter scale, according to the USGS, just a devastating explosion. The Department of Public Safety in Texas is telling us that somewhere between 70 and 100 buildings nearby were completely devastated. Among those buildings, an apartment building and a nursing home a middle school. Rescue workers are now going house to house to see who might be there, who needs help. This is a tremendous mass casualty event on the plains of Texas. And our ABC Steve Osinsami is on the scene right now with a report. Steve? Terry, we just left that triage center where authorities are waiting and hoping that as they search this nursing home that was, was badly destroyed, and as they search this apartment building that they are able to perform rescues tonight. There are at least a dozen ambulances there waiting, many medical personnel hoping that they can treat people on the scene. A number of people have been airlifted to local hospitals. We're right now about a mile or two away from the plant and you can see just what the explosion did to windows at businesses nearby. It just tore, shattered the windows in some of these businesses. We talked with some of the residents who were as many as 20 and 30 miles away, and they say they felt it in their homes. This cell phone video captured the raging fire at the fertilizer plant in West Texas. Onlookers had gathered to watch, and then. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Dad? You okay? Dad, I can't hear. Come here. I can't hear. The town was rocked by an explosion so powerful it registered a 2.1 on the Richter scale. It sucked the doors out of the building. I lost some of my friends, I'm telling you. It looked like you remember seeing the atom atomic bomb, you know, that plume. Well, there it was right, right to the north of where I live. The fire spread from house to house across this town. You can imagine what kind of damage we're looking at there. I know there was at least 50 to 75 houses damaged. There's an apartment complex that has about 50 units in it that was completely just skeletons standing up. The injured were rushed to a local football field that had turned into a makeshift field hospital. Those seriously injured were flown by helicopter to area hospitals. We arrived at that triage center near that high school football field where authorities were waiting for anyone they might find in that nursing home or what's left of that apartment building. The search and rescue is ongoing and the hundreds of paramedics and firefighters gathered here are on the ready. Dozens of ambulances lined up, ready to move the injured to local hospitals. This is scary. Families who live nearby told us it sounded like a bomb, like an earthquake. It shattered their windows miles away from the blast. It sound like a, a boom or? Boom, like a rock fell on the city. This little girl told us it felt like a rock hit her town. Shake, shake my house. Dozens of ambulances lined up, ready to move the injured to local hospitals. We are now going through door to door and evacuating that area and searching. Uh, for for survivors as well as for deceased. Families who came here who lived nearby told us it sounded like a bomb, like an earthquake. It shattered their windows miles away from the blast. This little girl told us it felt like a rock hit her town. What did it sound like again? Fire. It sounded like fire? Did it sound like a, a boom or? Boom, like a rock fell on the city. Do you have any friends or family who was who lives back here? Yes, we have um, 
family that's lost their houses and we're here making sure nobody needs a place to stay. Brought blankets, sleeping bags, pillows, everything we could think of. Yeah. And you just see loads upon loads of people in their wheelchairs being pushed with bandages wrapped all over them. Some of them not even bandaged up, blood all over their legs, all over their face, and people running, going hectic and everything. Detective George Willoughby felt the blast at his house 40 miles away. It is destroyed. There's apartment complex destroyed. There's a uh, nursing home, school, a lot, of, lot of, a lot of homes. At the West Food Mart, all the windows were blown out, broken glass scattered on the sidewalk. We're going to build back. It's not the end of the world. It's just, it's just a big old cut that we got across our hearts. There are some concerns about what might be in the air. Right now, there's a, a dust in the air, but there are some worries that there could be chemicals in the air that people are breathing. We talked to a number of people who knew some of the firefighters who were hurt in this incident. They say that there were at least a few firefighters who were hurt, hurt badly in this incident. And also some people who knew folks who were at the nursing home. Just everyone we talked with who lived in this town had some connection to someone who was hurt, and we believe that there are certainly fatalities tonight. Terry. Thank you, Steve Osin. Sami in that small town of West Texas reeling from this devastating explosion. More than 170 people injured, as you heard Steve report.